day one in Africa. Today was my first day teaching at the school. Man, some of the kids, the only meal they get is at the school. The difficulty with getting their attention and teaching, it's real. But it's like, I'm amazed at Africa, but I'm also just like saddened by a lot of the living conditions and stuff. Like, it's crazy, but it's still so beautiful. So it's just different parts. It's like America, you have lower class, middle class, upper class, upper class or whatever, but, but the kids were superb, it was pretty cool. All right, it's my Brody. Hello. Yo, so we're Yo. in South Africa. What's your program? Mine's sports development, yours is- uh, like Teaching. Teaching, yeah. Yeah, another volunteer. I'll introduce you all to the rest later on the YouTube page. So my first day, I was extremely tired. <laughs> Uh, difference with the time change and I did you know have to introduce the volunteer programs each person was on a different volunteer program So I volunteered at the school to teach English, but I actually assisted in the computer lab. So I absolutely loved teaching at the school. It's pretty dope. It was awesome. This is the footage from that. So some of the volunteers actually um, volunteered to do sports program, which in America we call it PE. Um, so this is where they would teach them different sports or different games and things like that. So it was pretty cool. <laughs> the students were absolutely amazing. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, I had to take a photo in front of the school. Of So during lunch and during sports development is when we spent the most time with them. We got to really learn their games that they like to play, where we got to let them do our hair and different things like that. So it was pretty awesome to be able to do that and speak with them and talk with them and play and all of that stuff. She created outreach to enrich basically because she's from South Africa and she wants to create a solution to the problems you know in her native land herself, which is what I love and respect about it. So if you would like to volunteer, please visit the website that is in the link of this video. Now the daycare was absolutely my favorite. Like, I love the kids. Yes. Five. Five, very good. Can someone tell me nine plus one? Seven. Nine figures plus one figures. Five. 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 Five.
so while I was there, um, me and your Frazy, we decided we wanted to do like major donations to the school, to the daycares, and to O2E. Just with something from our hearts. This video isn't meant to be boastful whatsoever. It's to be inspirational. And to just show how much of an impact that you can make. Zebra gang gang. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So we decided to focus on donating sports supplies, school supplies, puzzles, learning activities, anything that helps assist with the different programs for O2E and the school and the daycare. So today was the day to present the donations. Best day ever. Crazy cannot wait to present the kids with the little bikes that she got them. Like she was so excited. It was like the best moment for her the entire trip. And it was awesome to, to get to see her um experience that. So then I presented the O2E kids with sports like balls and um, things for them to play with recreational wise while they were at the O2E house. So they were so excited and, and grateful as well. I just, I loved it. So I bought them basketballs. I wanted that to be one of the um, sports that the sport development program taught them because in South Africa, the most popular sport is rugby, which is something that I learned while being there, which is pretty awesome, actually. But yeah, so it was pretty awesome to see like the school actually showing them how to play basketball. They had a Christmas party where they had so many donations and gifts for the children, which is amazing. Renee actually set that up and orchestrated that. She also set up the People Helping People food drive where they actually went to local township, provided lots of food, which is awesome. So the thing I love is that they do have a South African Heritage Day where they actually teach and, and honor and just show uh, their heritage. Uh, I, I absolutely love that. Um, I learned so many holidays that they have there as well, which is pretty amazing. Now the Outreach to Enreach Surf program is one of the best programs that they offer because it actually teaches them to surf and it also teaches the volunteers to surf too if you don't know how to. You pretty much go there and leave and you're almost an expert. So that's pretty awesome. Now it's time for you to actually see the beauty of South Africa. So we'll start with the trip to Signal Hill. In between volunteering, Renee will, you know, take the volunteers on excursions or trips and give them a lot of South African history. Uh, on the way to Signal Hill, she was explaining how um, the hospital we were passing was where they had the first ever heart surgery, where they actually had the very first heart transplant. I would like to take you up on the mountain, you know, to Muriel, uh, but a couple of months ago we made a mistake and we actually went to Muriel and we found out that in the 1600s, uh, the Dutch obviously came 
Cape Town settlement and um, using the sign and sound of all the places where the boats came in um, and people came up uh, on the shore. So um, Dutch is close to Afrikaans and a little bit of German obviously and um, this uh, captain came and he did the music bro. So his surname was Mace, which means mouse. And because he was in Musenberg and this is where they found him, or in this area, um, they called it Mason Band, which means mouse in the mountain. Okay. So that's a little bit of history about Musenberg. So in the 1600s, that's where they found him. You'll see a lot of historical uh, buildings when we go um, next week, the other way, down to Corkway, uh, fishing, all of those things. Um, you'll see all the historical buildings, and I'll, I'll just give you a little bit more about the history about the music. Okay. Awesome. Nice. The trees really um, drew me in, not only just the trees, but the actual land, like the landscaping itself. The mountains and the trees were just so different and so majestic. So Table Mountain is a huge monument in South Africa. It's a huge place. It's basically a mountain that's high, you know, above the clouds, and at the top, it's flat as a table, which it's, it's they really don't know how that ever happened. So on the way to Signal Hill, you could basically see Table Mountain and how flat it was and how, how massive it was. It was really beautiful. So they had your girl walk in this trail and jumping through trees to amazing um, spot that had the best view ever. But I was just like, okay, I'm not a bug person, but. I was so amazed by the view. I was so amazed by the spot where we were. To just sit there and, you know, play music and enjoy, you know, the time that we had um, with each other. And we were eating, we were drinking wine. It was pretty awesome. All right, DTG family, Dominia Travels Globally family. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in for a second vlog here. The second vlog shows my first day in South Africa. I went to the school. It was my first day actually um, teaching at the school and well, helping in the computer lab. And then, of course, it goes into everything else. That Outreach to Enrich, O2E, is the name of the program. That is by my great lovely friend Renee she um, owns it she created it they're in South Africa they're on the ground they're doing the work I absolutely love their mission I love Renee's innovation I love the fact that she is constantly this isn't like just here and there like 
she has created a business that literally is on the ground every day giving back to her community i told her she was an inspiration to me like i don't want just a business that's just powered off of money i want a business that's powered off of either helping people or creating happiness if i can combine both let's do it all the link for her if you want to volunteer if you want to go to south africa same way i did help with the kids do the surf program help in the daycares teach at the school the link is in the bio if you would like to just subscribe to renee and the o2e family i am an ambassador of theirs then you can always look at the link in the bio as well and you can follow her on instagram follow all the different volunteers journeys is, is is really amazing so that actually goes into my next thing so i actually created my own business called dominia travels globally i.e the name of the youtube hello so my goal is to bridge african americans with africa and and just get us to go to africa spend our travel because we like to travel you know um especially us in the lgbt community like let's go and then there's so many international prides so let me be your host let me be the one that takes you to the different prides you know across the globe not only that let me be the one to first of all introduce you to the beautiful continent of africa and all the many wonderful beautiful countries that's in Africa so that is my goal I want to bridge that gap I want us to spend our money on the continent of Africa and, and the many beautiful countries there and crazy thing is I came across so scrolling on Facebook and I came across this zoom where it was another business owner that travels to Africa and as of tonight like literally tonight I watched his entire zoom and he he hosts trips to Africa and I reached out to him. So I am looking to partner with established, um, already established because I'm just getting started and I have several people that's um, inboxing me, especially here in Atlanta and Florida where I'm from. So I've had several people wanting to go on these trips and I'm like, I haven't got started yet. I haven't created my square page, my square um, space website yet to take the payment. So I'm just getting started. Y'all bear with me, but I am willing to um, partner up up with different established travel groups if you can you want to inbox me things of that nature contact information will be at the bottom but the rest of you all that loves me that follows me this is just getting off so we're gonna do big things if we can join with other businesses that is really focusing on on um traveling to africa listen i love it because what we want to do is we want we want to go and we want to get our own history you know, our history was told to us. The way Africa was depicted to us was wrong. You know, we can actually get history from the source. When I went to South Africa, the rich amount of history that they have. When I went to Nelson Mandela's prison, you know, that was just so amazing to me. I really, 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 because this, our generation, the m millennials, I'll just say the younger generation, you know, we have a passion for knowledge because we have everything at, at our fingertips and we, we love to research, right? And we like to get to the bottom of the truth. That's just the generation we live in. Like we were promised, if you go to school, you can be whatever you want to be. That was a Santa Claus lot. Okay, we did that, we got debt. We were promised if you work hard, you can move up in these companies. That was another Santa Claus lie. Because what happened, we get in these companies and the older people sit in their positions. They never, until they retire, we can't move up. So we feel we did everything right. <laughs> and then the reality of what it is, is like, man, we got lied to, we got sold a dream. <laughs> you know, now we're like, we wanna research everything. Well, that's the good thing about it. You have people people that have a passion for what they've discovered going to the continent of Africa, the beauty, the history, just the, the connection to African Americans in general, you know, it is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. And if you look at Dubai, you know, back in 2000, 2000, so what it is now, that's a huge economic wow. And look at the amount of traffic it gets. And shout out to Dubai. Don't, don't get it wrong. You know, keep make, keep making your money. But that's what I'm saying. That's the power of focusing in on one economy. And I do know the history of how, how Dubai, you know, 
but I'm saying the travel portion, the travel portion of how much money they they actually get from people going there. It's phenomenal. So that's why I say definitely really, really travel to Africa. The other thing I wanted to talk about, because I have had questions. If you do have questions, leave them in the comments. I'm gonna try and answer. I wanna also build something to where we can possibly donate to either Renee's foundation or just if we go to Africa, maybe being able to to contribute to getting African or two to be able to come to the US like we want a bridge that would be awesome to be able to do that to get that established to be able to do that that's just my dream also I did want to answer the question why did I go to South Africa first South Africa you do not have to have a visa and I wanted to go to Nelson Mandela's prison South Africa is the most Americanized seemingly part of Africa. That's not what lured me there, but I'm glad I did. Like I said, I, I got a whole family that I met and now I, I do have a South African family in the terms of O2E. Like that's that's like my family now. <laughs> so, and I'm glad to say that. Like I'm, I'm telling everyone, go see Renee at O2E, period, when you're in South Africa. So a lot of people ask, you know, is it expensive now um in South Africa, the money is called czar. And in the US, our $1 is 15 of their czar. So no, you know, it's not expensive at all. Our money flips times a lot. A few times, you know, $100 on what you get in czar, it adds up. So that's the blessing about it. I, I went on safaris, I went skydiving, I did all that and I didn't come back, you know, just broke or in, 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 in a bad situation. But with my travel group, we will actually price the excursions. Like a lot of the things you'll see in my vlogs, it will be available for you to actually go on these group trips. So yeah, we're, we're going to get this all planned out for you, period. You don't have to worry. We'll set everything up. Now my next, someone in the comments of my first vlog was like, come to Johannesburg. You're right, you're right. So my next trip will actually be Ghana. You can get dual citizenship in Ghana. I do want to go to a lot of the historical places in Ghana. So that will be my next trip. And then I want to do Egypt maybe Morocco, and then work my way down. So that, that's my plan as far as the vlog. Another person asked, did I need a visa? I didn't need a visa for South Africa, but I will need a visa for Ghana. And that's the other part. Preparation will be key. So me, I did my due diligence. The reason why I went through a volunteer program and the link for them will be in the bio as well if you, if you just prefer that was because when you volunteer, the US Embassy knows that you're there and I was a solo female first-time traveler and I just wanted to do it for a good cause the reason why I created my particular travel company is because not everyone wants to volunteer I had a lot of my friends I was like y'all want to come there like I'm not doing the volunteer part like I love kids but not going all the way to Africa you know like I want to explore I want to learn so I get it it's not for everyone but that is always an option as well always 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 so the next Next vlog will actually be me highlighting like some of my some of the best places in South Africa so I can't wait for you guys to see that again thank you so much for tuning in and yes like share subscribe thank you